Well, less than a quarter of people who received an initial invitation to the country's first mass COVID-19 vaccination event have booked a slot. The three-day clinic at the Vodafone Event Centre in Monaco starts on Friday. It aims to give shots to more than 15,000 people. It was supposed to have been centred around Monaco Institute of Technology students and their families, but so few booked a place that officials have had to massively widen the invitation list twice. Chen Liu reports. 12,500 MIT students and teachers were sent an invite and told to bring their families too. The head of the rollout in Auckland, Alex Pym, says only about 3,000 actually booked a slot. I think it's always disappointing when something that you've planned for um, doesn't get the response that you were hoping for. Um, I think it's an opportunity to learn and to think about how we run these events in New Zealand in future. The event is a pilot for mass vaccination clinics and was initially limited to the MIT community to stop it being overrun. But when they didn't fill the slots, officials spun it wider, this time to 82,000 Maori and Pacific people. That still wasn't enough to fill the slots, and the invitations were widened again this weekend to a total of 140,000 people before the slots were finally filled. I think it is concerning when um, we're not able to attract people to accept their vaccination appointments. I think it gives us an opportunity to think about how we can do better in the future to encourage people to come forward and protect themselves, their whanau and their community from COVID-19. A general practitioner in South Auckland, Api Tarimaitonga, says the mass rollout is a great initiative, but it lacks Māori and Pacifica input. He says the invite is boring for event-loving South Aucklanders. I think the organisers should have thought about making it you know, a celebration or an event that, that is like a festival where people come along with their friends, can listen to a bit of music or watch a bit of entertainment or dancing, have a bit of food um, and then, you know, get vaccinated. Dr. Tarema Tonga says restricting vaccination access to a particular date and time is not practical for some families. You know, it's over a weekend. They'll have to take kids to rugby. There's only one car in the family. So it'll be when that is available. So they can't actually make an appointment because they don't know when the car will be free. So <clears throat> we need to make it available for people to be able to walk in. Api Tarimatonga also says general practices should be supported to be able to give the vaccine as many people wouldn't be willing to get it anywhere else. He says though it will happen, it's a bit too slow. Mike Asili, president of the Student Council at MIT, says the relatively small take-up could be because the announcement came out during their breaks. She says there is help with booking for anyone struggling to secure a spot. We stationed health ambassadors as well as laptops on all three of all our campuses. So we ensured that both staff and students, those who weren't able to book through the link, um, whether it was because they just didn't have a laptop or they didn't know how to use uh, the booking system, they can come directly to us. Mike Asili says an online quarter all featuring health professionals, community and student leadership is being held this morning to address people's concerns. Part of the Talanoa quarter all session is actually directing any of those questions that they have around maybe the booking or maybe the transport issues so that we can sit down and address it and help them be comfortable when the week comes on Friday, Saturday and Sunday to get their vaccine. MIT Chief Executive Gus Gilmore says in a statement that a reminder email was sent to all staff and students yesterday with health board staff advising they have seen a surge in bookings yesterday afternoon. There have been a few hundred extra spaces added in case there are any MIT stragglers. The clinic starts early on Friday and runs until Sunday, with each vaccinator aiming to inject one person a minute to reach the final target.